Welcome to this video where we'll be explaining what the Magic 3 is and how it can benefit you in your Chinese based projects. We'll be going over the three elements that make up the Magic Triangle, product specification, sample and product review and factory inspection and what each of these elements consists of. Principle behind the triangle. A quality specification sheet should translate into a buyer decision for poor quality when receiving sample goods for review on tangible and measurable preset criteria. In other words, a poor product specification sheet generally results in poor products being produced, whereas a good product specification sheet results in good products being produced. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the first element, product specification. Now before you confirm an order with a Chinese supplier, you need to explain what you want. The best way to do that is with a good specification sheet, which should include at least the following elements, but not limited to. How the product needs to be checked and what is expected. How the product should be labeled and packed. What the tolerances are on measurements. And what the potential defects are and how to classify them. Here is an extract from a product specification sheet that shows a checklist with specific requirements and sampling rates. When it comes to labeling, one aspect to take into consideration is the legal requirements for selling your products in the countries you are targeting. These legal requirements may include getting the product tested and certified to show they meet the specific standards required. We can help you with this aspect and coordinate everything between the supplier and the test house. As for packing, you need to consider the following. Function of the packaging, strength, in other words, what does it need to protect, fitness for purpose, the usability, safety regulations, and the material the package is made out of. When it comes to tolerances, you really need to understand what tolerances you require on each dimension of your product design. This will not only ensure your product fits together, but it will also help optimize the price. The tighter the tolerance you specify, the higher price required to achieve those tight tolerances. This chart shows the relationship between tolerance and cost. What the potential defects are and how to classify them. It is critically important that you identify potential defects within your product design and each of the parts. All the defects should be classified. For example, a defect would be porosity in a casting, and a classification would be three or less holes of a diameter of less than 0.02 inch per square inch. That would be acceptable. Anything more than that is rejected. Here is an example of defects and their classification from an example specification sheet. On a side note, your product specification sheet should be agreed with and approved by your supplier. That way, you know that they have bought into the product specification. This document can be the basis for the OEM agreement, which should be an appendix to the actual agreement itself. This way, if the supplier doesn't respect your quality standards, you can put pressure on them based upon that document. The next section is the sampling element. This section is broken down into two distinct sections, pre-production and production. So let's start with the pre-production samples. As part of the development stage, your supplier will produce samples for approval. These will be manufactured to the specifications you provided, which would have included your product specification sheet. So you can now see how important that document really is. Once the samples are available, they need to be thoroughly tested and methodically checked to ensure they meet the specification. It is important to use the specification sheet as a checklist while checking and testing these samples. One crucial step here is to identify any potential defects that are not already listed in the product specification sheet. You also need to make sure that the product specification sheet is updated and reissued to the supplier. Getting products tested locally in China has huge advantages. There is no time delay due to shipping, dedicated testing facilities available, instant feedback to you and the supplier, follow-up meetings with suppliers can be arranged at very short notices. Now let's have a look at production samples. 
all production parts will be produced to the very latest specification and standards that you provide. It is best practice to get samples as early as possible from the production run so that you can check these samples to ensure product is being produced correctly to the right level of quality. One way to achieve this is to have samples checked in our local office where we can check against your product specification sheet and test the product as required. Any issues can be reported back to the supplier and corrective action plans can be generated to solve any issues found. Let me quickly touch on approved samples. Prior to production, you should have received at least one sample that met all the criteria within the specification sheet. This would be in effect your approval sample, a sample that can be used to cross-reference and check against when producing products. An even better situation would have failure threshold samples that would demonstrate upper and lower limits for certain critical to quality features or characteristics, for example, paint finish or color variations, stitching quality and even weight limits. Let's have a look at the inspection element of the Magic Triangle. If you let your Chinese supplier ship the goods to you and you discover they are not acceptable after delivery, it is way too late to do anything. There is virtually no way of sending goods back to China for rework. This is a very serious situation to find yourself in and luckily it is a situation that can be avoided very easily. Simply get your products inspected before shipping. When to inspect products? There are a number of logical times throughout the production process to inspect products. The most common two are during production inspection and after production inspection. Now during production inspection allows you to catch issues if any as early as possible in the manufacturing process. This way you can request corrective actions and go back and check a few days later. It is much easier to make adjustments before all of the goods are completed and packed. After production inspection allows you to check criteria such as packing and labeling and the average quality by picking samples at random and see what the average quality is like. A past inspection at this point means the supplier can ship your products. As you can now see, there is direct correlation between how good your product specification sheet is and the quality of goods produced by your supplier. With a fully detailed and comprehensive specification sheet, there is little room for discussion when it comes to issues being found. In cases where serious issues are found, the supplier won't have any excuses and you won't spend hours arguing with them about it. If issues are found that can be reworked or have product replaced, you should get the supplier to complete this before final payment is made. Here is what a rework cycle looks like. Sophie Services. This entire process is one of our speciality services and one that we can help you with in its entirety. Sophie's has helped hundreds of companies worldwide save time and effort through the production process by generating a detailed product specification sheet, reviewing, testing and analyzing samples and then inspecting products in the factory ensuring everything is approved before shipping. This has resulted in savings of hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars for clients. Ensuring product is acceptable to be sent by following the steps within the Magic 3 provides peace of mind that everything goes as smoothly as possible. These three simple steps that create the Magic Triangle are so critical to the success of any project, failure to get any one of these steps right and you will certainly fail in your product. The simple fact that we have extensive knowledge and experience in this process makes it a bit of a no-brainer to work with Sophist and to know you are in good hands throughout the entire process. For more information about the Magic 3 and how to work with us, click the link or simply visit us at www.sofeast.com.